Hello. So, what if I want to add extra VFX to a skill that doesn't have very many VFX slots? So, for example, here, I want to add a big explosion to Layden's Bite. So, if I just demonstrate real quick, and I hit Layden's Bite, there we go, that's Bard's spammable AoE. And I want to add a big boom on the end of that. But if I navigate to Layden's Bite here, you can see other than the common, which I don't want to replace, I only have one VFX slot. Well, that's okay because we can merge VFX together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a spell that has a nice big boom. And in this case, I really like Fire 3 for that. So I will type in Fire, and I'm going to Fire 3. And as you can see, I have starred the particular one that I like on here. But just to demonstrate, I will hit Spawn on Target. And there we get a nice big boom, which is what I am looking for. So I will hit Select on that. Then what I want to do is I want to go to this Timelines tab. And I am going to hit the drop down, select timeline zero, and then I'm going to hit this save button, or you know, kind of looks like a, a floppy disk. So I'll click that, and you want to make sure that this export dependencies is checked. It is by default, but just in case for some reason it's not, you want that checked. And I will hit export, and I'm just going to save this to my D drive. So we will save that. And then now I can get rid of fire there. And I want to load in Layden's Byte again. So I will type that here. And I will hit select on VFX1. And then I'm going to load it into the bottom as well. So action. And then Layden. Here we are. VFX1. Now I can close these down. And again, I'm going back to this Timelines tab. But now I'm going to click the plus sign, and I'm going to say Import. And I'm going to import that Fire 3 timeline that I just made. So now you can see I have a Timeline 0 and a Timeline 1. Well, I mean, if you're just handling two VFX, it's probably pretty easy to keep track of them. But just to make sure you're aware of this, you can rename these. So I can rename this one Layton's, like that, hit the check, and then I could go to Timeline 1, and I can edit this, and I can say Fire, and then I can check that one. Now, what I need to do is I need to go to this Scheduler tab, and I will select Scheduler 0, and what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to delete this, because for whatever reason, the default scheduler zero doesn't like to be edited. So we're going to delete that and we're just going to add a new one. So we have scheduler zero, but we have this dash one next to it. And that's that's what you're looking for. So now we can add in one of our timelines. And it really doesn't matter which one you choose here, um, because if you're worried about timing, you can always, you can adjust the time right here in this box, and then I'll show you in a little bit some other ways that you can tweak timings. So it really doesn't matter which time you load, timeline you load first, it's, it's totally up to you. But once we have chosen one, I am going to hit the plus sign again, get another timeline, and I will put the fire one here. Now that those are set, I can hit update and I can test this out. So if I go to the dummy and I hit Layden's Bite, okay, that's getting there, but the explosion happens a little too early, especially that first fire ring that comes out. That's, that's not quite right. So I want to adjust this. Now, what I can do is I can... I can change the start time here, and this is in frames, it's not in like seconds. So you kind of have to mess with it a little bit here. You it, you know, you might not get it right on the first guess. I'm going to guess, I don't know, 10 frames. And then I will hit that, I'm going to hit update, 
and we will try it again. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Um, but I still don't like how that fire ring comes out early. Um, so what I can do with that is I will make sure I have the fire timeline selected. And then I'm going to click this arrow to, or the fire scheduler, I should say. And I'm going to click this arrow to go back to the timeline. From here, I'm going to click on the items tab. And now you can see all these emitters. The emitters are what control the particle effects. The emitters spawn the VFX. So I can figure out which which emitter generates that, that particle effect that I don't really like or that I want to delay more. On this one, it's pretty obvious what it's going to be because this emitter spawns way before the other ones, as you can see. So... Like, if I just disable that emitter, and then I hit update, and then I try my latent bite again, there we go. Now I don't have that fire ring at all. Um, or what I could do is I could enable it, and I can slide it back to where these other ones start, and I can hit update, and then do it again. And now I have it, but it just it starts with the rest of the animations. So those are your kind of two options for setting up timings. Um, but that's that's really it. That is that is the core to merging VFX. And you are you are welcome to add as many as you like. You can you can do all kinds of cool things. Um, so I hope that this was helpful uh, and informative. And I just want to put this out here. Um, I have started a Discord, so, I mean, if if you have a simple question, feel free to just leave it in the comments. I do read all the comments, I do answer questions in comments, um, but if you have something a little more complex and you want to ask a few questions back and forth or get, get some more in-depth feedback, um, you are welcome to join the Discord, and I will um, have it linked in the description. Um, besides that, again, I, I hope this was helpful and you can have some fun messing around with your skills.